Hi, this is Quant Namad. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you um, one of the newest features of PyScript called Py Profiler. So, idea of it is that it will kind of scan your code and will show you, um, you know, lines of code that actually most computationally intensive, and this will help you optimize your scripts much much easier. And for me, this feature I think it's pretty important because I have built pretty complicated scripts in PyScript. So I built all these kind of uh, screeners that compute, I don't know, dozens of uh, indicators for dozens of instruments. So for me, it's quite useful. Now let's switch to a trading view and see how Profiler works. Uh, so here I already applied one of my public indicators to my chart. So this is kind of multiple indicator screener and it's relatively heavy. So it actually computes uh, like four indicators for 40 instruments and um, kind of display this simultaneously on your screen. For this kind of indicators, Profiler will be extremely useful. So um, let's go and enable Profiler so you can see how it actually works. So click on this arrow and click Enable Profiler. And it will take a couple of seconds for um, PineScript to compute all of that. But as you can see, it's already computed for my script. And here on the left, you'll see uh, three uh, kind of uh, most hot spots basically of your code. So it means that these are three lines that took um, you know most uh, time computing. So um, here, for example, 49.1, it means that PineScript spent half, almost half of the time just computing this um, line of code. And actually, uh, this line uh, executes my kind of screener function with all the indicators inside for all four instruments. So this is actually something I expect to see. So these, uh, I think, are fine. But the best part about this is that actually it doesn't even show you that, okay, it took 40% of the time computing this line of code, but you can go to screener function itself and see details for all kind of the code inside this function and see what it took, what it took there. So um, here it seems like this line of code um, took the most of the time inside the function. So it seems like my ADX implementation, um, it's not uh, very fast. And I have kind of custom implementation of ADX, so probably I can switch to built-in ADX, for example, or I can just try to optimize my, my implementation for ADX. So as you can see, um, it's very, very easy to use um, this profiler but it can be very, very useful if you have something uh, complex uh, to, um, to, to debug. So I think that's all um, for this short video. Let me know if you have um, any questions about it. See you next one.